Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Cindy Itara Rahel from the Philippines. Being a development communication student has opened my eyes to global issues. I have learned to love community emotions and fieldwork, but I was able to listen to the stories of the marginalized. I have heard stories of corruption. I have heard stories of local government units who are afraid of displeasing higher officials. I have heard a lot of stories, most of them problems, and I seldom heard them say that they are happy that things are changing, that good things are coming. But who are the people capable of making that change? I believe that everyone can do something. By simply putting global issues into writing, you can reach a greater audience, a greater number of people who can contribute in their own little ways. Living in a developing country does not equate hopelessness, and that is why I am motivated to be one of the world's change makers. As for the topic, I chose the topic on accessibility because I believe it is one of the crucial factors in creating better communities, as in access to food and water, access to medical assistance, and access to education. And moreover, accessibility may be a significant factor in creating better international relations and cultural exchange, as in access to technology, access to global education, and access to international or interregional partnerships. I myself have been put in a situation where I am very unfamiliar with a certain culture. I applied for an international student exchange program and was accepted in a university in Canada. The university was highly diverse, with students coming from different regions of the world with different cultural backgrounds and different perspectives. That was my, that, that was my first time outside of the country and there was a mix of excitement and anxiety. I was excited because I'm going to a place very different from my own, very different from the culture that I have been used to. But at the same time, I was anxious because I was afraid to be different. I was afraid to fit in. But then I learned that I shouldn't be afraid because after talking and spending some time with them, I felt comfortable. And I learned that our presumptions about other cultures are most likely wrong because we might have been influenced by mass media. And so after that, I felt inspired. I want to see more places, I want to interact with more cultures, and I want to feed my mind with more perspectives. And I believe that this is what the youth should be able to experience, a global education. And, and, and this one, I can definitely, definitely agree that uh, experience is the best teacher. And so I have identified three of the hurdles in overcoming religious or cultural diversity in tolerance. One is assumptions of superiority. There, are, there is a tendency for people to assume that their culture is superior than others, and in that the value of cultural relativism is often lost. Second is the intolerance or lack of respect for difference. It is inevitable, inevitable for people to be different, as in the uncertain, uncertainty theory, we try to observe the people around us and match up with them. And in that case, we lose respect for who we really are. And we try to just be like others and lose the value of uniqueness. And lastly, there is a lack of access to modes of cultural exchange. So there is, we, there is a lack of access to, to ways in exposing ourselves to other cultures, such as access to technology, access to global education, and access to interregional or international uh, partnerships. And so I have identified here three uh, possible ways we can do to overcome these hurdles. First, aside from addressing these accessibility issues, we should also promote intercultural programs or events, not only for the youth, world leaders, and prominent personalities, but also for other community members. And lastly, we should develop more social marketing strategies uh, that address cultural understanding. And I'm, I would just like to say that I'm glad that there, there are organizations that encourage the youth to be active members of the society and encourage the youth, motivate the youth to be the ones to try to change the world. That is all and have I hope you have a nice day.